Hello everyone, we're going to talk about essential fat. So our brain is made up of 60% fat. So this thing in your skull, this wibbly wobbly thing in your, bra your brain is made up of 60% fat. So that's a huge amount of fat. Now, what does that fat do that's in your brain? Well, it provides a structural integrity um, to the neurons. It su pro provides support for the memory, for your learning processes, for brain growth and for our development. And it also helps to protect our brain as we get older. So the fat in our brain has a very, very important role. Fat is important for all of our cells, not just for our brain, but for our brain it's ultra important. So making sure we're getting fat is really key. But what does that mean, making sure we're getting fat? So does that mean eating your bacon fat? Is that good for you? Well, no, not really, because that's gonna end up clogging up your heart. That's not the fat we're talking about that supports good brain health. So what is that fat that supports good brain health? Well, there are two main types of fat that support good brain health, omega-6, and omega-3. We're mainly going to be focusing on omega-3 today because omega-6 is found very widely in our western diets. In fact we probably get too much omega-6 in our bodies and omega-6 and omega-3 have to be kept at a ratio of approximately 3 to 1. So we can find this perfect ratio of omega-6 and 3 in hemp seeds. In fact hemp have that perfect ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 for our body. So that's an amazing food to have. You can get lovely um, hemp seed oils, uh, which you can add into your diet. Avocado oil is a great source of fat as well. So if you're eating lots of omega-6, then you need to up your omega-3 to always keep that ratio in balance. But the main thing we're going to focus on now is omega-3. Now, there are three types of omega-3, three main types of omega-3, and that is ALA, uh, which is a short chain um, essential fat. There's DHA and EPA. Now they're the long chain essential fats. So what does that mean? And uh, how, does, how does that all work? Well, the short chain fats, the ALA, come from our food, things like flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts. They're all good sources of ALA. Now the EPA and the DHA is a more selective thing. The EHA, EPA and DHA um, are uh, really the crucial element for your brain. And this comes from fish or algae. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. Now, the EPA and DHA work to enhance your brain health. Uh, they help with protecting against anxiety and depression. They work to help your brain prevent it from shrinking as you get older. So really important stuff that the EPA and DHA is doing for your brain. Now, this is the tricky bit, the ALA. So that's the stuff that comes from your hemp seeds, your flax seeds, your chia seeds, all of those kind of things has to be converted in the body, which can be to EPA and DHA. Now, that conversion is not a very good process. It's quite a, a chunky process. So um, approximately between eight and 10% of the ALA gets converted to EPA and only half a percent gets converted to DHA. So that means you've got to eat a lot of those hemp seeds in order to get the right amount of EPA and DHA that your body actually needs. We need to be eating about half a pint of hemp seeds a day to be getting um, the essential fat that we need, the omega-3, in the right form. So that's a lot of hemp seeds to be eating a day, half a pint. So what do we do about this? Well, as I mentioned, oily fish or the algaes are a really, really good source of EPA and DHA. Now, this is where we get into a bit of problems as well. If you're eating fish, in order to get the amount of EPA and DHA you need, you need to ideally be having it three times a week. But the government don't recommend you have it more than once a week because of the amount of pollution that's in the ocean. The amount of heavy metals that are contained in those fish are toxic to our body. So if you're eating too much oily fish, that's going to be toxic to your body. Not only that, there is a huge knock-on effect of the fact that 90% of the fisheries are overfished. So we have this huge issue. 
And then if you're eating farmed fish, you have an even bigger issue of all the uh, antibiotics that are pumped into those fish and the amount of parasites and nasty stuff in those fish. It's not a very nice process, the farming of fish. So really environmentally, health-wise, um, you know, ethically, we shouldn't really be eating um, fish hardly at all, if at all. Um, so what can we do? Well, fish get their EPA and DHA from the algae. So let's cut out the fish and go directly to the primary producers. So what happens is the, um, the algae is the thing that's got holds all of this fat in it. So when you're getting a supplement that's algae oil, this has been grown in clean water areas, so you've not got the pollution of the ocean. So you're cutting out that part, which is really important. So there's some great supplements out there. So I'm going to show you a couple of them that I think are the best ones. This one is really, really good. Uh, Vivo Life Omega-3. This is on my website. This um, is algae oil. Um, it's also got some rosemary in there. It tastes of lemon because it's got lemon oil and lime oil. So it tastes quite nice to have. Now, per two mil serving, you get 300 milligrams of EPA and 600 milligrams of DHA. Now, generally adult consumption between 250 to 500 milligrams is the recommended amount per day. So this is a great amount. You're getting um, uh, your recommended amount tastes lovely it's just a pipette you drop into your mouth really really good I get the kids to take it no problem so that's a really nice one to have the other thing that you can get is uh, this is by doTERRA and this is a lovely one so this has a mixture of different things in it so this has got flaxseed oil uh, algae oil uh, inca inchi seed oil a uh, borage seed oil cranberry seed oil pomegranate seed oil pumpkin seed oil and grape seed oil it's also got in it clove, frankincense, thyme, cumin, wild orange, peppermint, ginger, caraway, and chamomile. So really, really nice, easy to take, really easy on the digestive system. It's also got naturally occurring vitamin D, naturally occurring vitamin A, and vitamin E from all those different oils that are in there. So that's a really, really uh, nice one to have. If you're interested in that, let me know. Do send me a message. Uh, it's, it comes in a big um, kit with other uh, um, supplements so do message me about that the kits on my website but if you're just interested in this one then I can do that separately but you have to send me a message so a few different ways that you can take your essential fat you know I still recommend people have their chia seeds and have their hemp seeds and have your hemp oil and your avocado and your nuts and all of that good stuff because that all adds in it's about that combination so we're getting it from all these lovely sources to really be a beautiful thing but the most important thing is that you're getting the essential fats in so that your brain can function properly so that we can prevent things like Alzheimer's and dementia so that we can help support children with learning difficulties and ADHD essential fats have been shown to be so crucial many many studies now done uh, with children with ADHD high dosed um, omega-3 supplements and they found that the ADHD was either more manageable or went all together a lot of people think that some of these things like ADHD can potentially just be nutritional deficiencies because our diet in the western world is not designed to support healthy brain function so hopefully that's been helpful and I look forward to seeing you soon